What's up, Bull Nation? Dan Davis here to chat with you a little bit about the Steve Spurrier resignation. Yes, it's a resignation, not a retirement. The head ball coach is taking his ball and going home, uh, turning the job over to Sean Elliott as the interim head coach. Spurrier is 70 years old, and he made it clear that he could wind up coaching a little bit on down the road, but it would only be in high school as he's done with college. It's a recruiting game, as he says. Uh, this does a lot of good things for South Carolina, even though there's been mixed opinions on it. I understand the impression that he's abandoning his players, abandoning his school, etc., etc., etc. But let's be honest, Spurrier is always, always played by his own rules. Um, and really, there's a couple benefits to this. First of all, he's letting them get a head start on the recruiting, which has really been lacking under his watch. He's 70 years old. He's a little bit out of touch with the young kids. Even he said this himself. This gives them the opportunity to go into homes and say, hey, look, there's a future now. We have, we're going to go in a new direction. Whereas before it was, how much longer will Steve last? How long will he be here? Who knows? It's hard to sell these kids on four-year commitments, four or five-year commitments when you're 70 years old. And the second aspect is it gives the administration a head start on finding his replacement. USC East, as they like to be called, is not the most prolific job. It doesn't have the biggest budget and finances to work with, and it's not going to draw top names quite like USC West, who's also going to be looking for a head coach. Not to mention there's also Maryland, which is another school with a bigger budget than them. So they need all the advantages they can get to start isolating and identifying those candidates and who would be a great fit for the school. So all in all, I think this is a sad day for college football. Spurrier is a legend and icon. Hopefully we can get him on TV or around in the media or something so we can still hear from him because he's funny and he's genuine and he's always a blast to watch. Um, but I think this is a good move for South Carolina. It's going to set them up well for the future.